What happens when you mix a classic Chinese dish with barbecue flavors? Well, I guess we'll find out. Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. I have two absolute favorites. One is classic dishes, like the Chinese classic crispy pork belly. Oh man, it's a die for. But then on the other hand, there's another favorite, which is barbecue. Those traditional barbecue flavors, it doesn't matter if it's like Texas style with salt and pepper, or if it's the sweetness from the ribs. But my thought was, what if I mix these two together? Oh yeah. This could turn out pretty good, or this could go really wrong. And that's why I bought this, a beautiful piece of pork belly. Look at it. Yeah, of course, this is going to require some serious preparation because if you want to apply the Chinese technique that make the pork belly skin so super crispy and tasty, then you need to put in some work. And the first job that I have is to stretch out the skin a little bit and then make holes in the skin. Then take another tray, lay out some cling film, sprinkle on a layer of salt and put the pork belly on with the skin side towards the salt. Put the other tray on top of it, load it up with a heavy cast iron pan and set it in the fridge overnight. And after a night the pork belly looks like this. I'm gonna throw away the salt and brush off any salt that is still left on the pork skin. If a paper towel doesn't work you can use a brush and once you got it cleaned up it's time to work on the seasoning. I'm going to use this all-in barbecue sauce from my good friend Jorn from Udenheim Barbecue. Barbecue aus Rheinessen. It's an amazing sauce that's going to fit really well to my pork belly. I'm going to brush on a thin layer and on top of that I'm going to sprinkle the Pitmaster X Tweedy barbecue rub. Then I'm going to grate fine a clove of garlic, grate fine a fresh chunk of ginger and put that on the pork belly as well. Chop fine a spring onion, followed by some chili flakes and some soy sauce. And now that we've got plenty of flavor on the pork belly, it's time to tie it up. Now this could be a little bit of work, of course, tying this up. But if you use a butcher's needle, it's going to be so much easier. However, I lost mine, so I made a makeshift butcher's needle out of a skewer and it works pretty well. So all I need to do is continue this process and do the rest of this pork while I remove these little assisting twines that I set up because these are just going to make this work a little bit easier. Let's get this done so we can finally put this on the barbecue. And when you're at the end, it's time to tie it up. Make sure that the wire is nice and tight. Just go through it one more time. Make a knot in the end. And there we go. That's it. We got the beautiful dried skin and we got that nice seasoned inside. And you can already see from the color that this is going to taste amazing. It smells so good. The trick to getting a crispy skin is to put it on a rotisserie. Of course, you can stick this in the oven and let it sit there. But if you're cooking outdoor on the barbecue, you definitely want to put this on a rotisserie. One, it just looks freaking amazing on a rotisserie. And two, is you're going to get the best results. Now that it's done, it's time to get the barbecue out. And as you already saw, I'll be cooking on my new outdoor kitchen. Beautiful grill sitting on top of a Napoleon Oasis outdoor kitchen. Let's open this thing up, get our beautiful spit roast in. And now I want to adjust it so that it sits in the center. And of course I want to keep my eye on the temperature so I'm going to stick in a wireless thermometer. That way I'm always sure that I know what the core temperature is of my roast. And all I need to do now is just turn on the gas and hit ignition. I'm going to set it to a low temperature and I'm going to turn on the outside burners and set them to the lowest temperature as well. And for the first hour, I'm going to take it nice and slow, get this thing up to temperature, heat up the skin a little bit, let it cook, because the magic is that you cook the skin for a long time. As you can see, the pork is coming along nicely. It's just happily spinning around at a low temperature, building up a crust and getting that skin crunchy. Now in the meantime, I'll be making a delicious barbecue sauce. I'm going to turn on my sizzle zone, I'm gonna drizzle in a little bit of sunflower oil. Once the oil's hot, I'm gonna put in one fine chopped spring onion, a fine chopped garlic clove. Once it's almost done, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a cup of all-in barbecue sauce, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna turn down the heat. I'm gonna give it about five minutes to simmer so that the flavors can come together and the sauce can blend. 
Wow, that is a good sauce. I'm gonna turn off the gas. Your sauce is done. I got the notification from my thermometer that the meat's fully cooked and I actually got it a while back. But then the more important thing is how is the skin doing? Is it crunchy yet? Hello. Now that is a crispy pork belly skin. I think it's time we take it off the grill. Oh. Let's get the thermometer out. Get the skewer off. Now this needs to rest for 20 minutes and that is a tall order for me. I have to wait so long. In the meantime, I can just admire the beautiful crust on this. Listen to this. Wow. This is so crispy and crunchy. It's insane. I'm not gonna cut into it yet. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Just let it cool down a little bit and it becomes even more crunchy. Of course, you want to show this beautiful dish some respect by plating it up nicely. I'm gonna place some sauce on the plate, followed up by some nice slices of that pork belly. And around that, I'm gonna put some of that crispy pork skin, plus some of that extra spring onions, and then you end up with this beautiful looking dish.